Okay, so the thing is that uh, I think we just had uh, a difference in our opinions, you understand? So he put up a post and I felt I needed to, you know, add something to what he uh, had posted on, on Instagram. So it's not really like beef, you understand? If I needed beef, I was probably going to go back in my village and, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So yeah, so uh, the thing is that, you know, I've actually like uh, come to understand that the major problem that we have uh, as uh, the Zambian music industry is that we don't really want to help each other out. You know, it was not about me trying to get a feature from him. If I wanted that, I was obviously not going to comment on, on, on Instagram. So the whole thing was all about, you know, trying to get the message out there. I think it's high time we started working together as a country in order to see our music, you know, start ticking internationally. It's not about uh, affiliates. It's not about maybe me working with the people that uh, I'm, I'm teaming with. I think it's all about trying to get Zambian music as a whole, trying to get it across, you understand? So I think that was a major thing that I was trying to put across, but maybe the way he understood it or the way he took it was a bit different from my, my point of view. Otherwise, no beef whatsoever. For well, you know how it is, like Slav D is a big guy. Obviously, if he saw sense in what I was saying, then that obviously that's the reason why he tried to like respond with punch punches and and whatnot. But I, I have respect for him, and you know, I, he's it's not by coincidence that he's he is where he is right now. Obviously, he's worked hard to get to the top. And me, on the other hand, I also have my own thing going on. You know, my my own record label, and definitely I have a vision. And you know, it's all about um, the ideas that I have, and you know, channeling the ideas to something that is is greater. You understand? So it doesn't really matter who started first and who who goes last. At the end of the day, I'm also trying to to make a name for myself and obviously get the music out there. Cause like my main aim right now is not only just like doing music for the Zambians. I'm trying to get my music out there. Like, trust me, we're working night and day. And right now, uh, I have a new single out, Loki Loki, which features uh, Chef187 and EXO from Nigeria, produced by him. EXO has worked with countless of big artists in, in Nigeria. And that song is actually doing very well in about four to five different countries. It's, it's on uh, Taffy Row. Uh, Africa top 20 and it's on number 18 right now as we speak so yeah so we get in there so yeah so I was how, like uh, how was he supposed to respond to you what like uh, what did you expect well I didn't really expect anything for starters I actually didn't even think he was gonna respond because you know how it is like people always have different opinions about about stuff but the way he responded it was more like he thought I was trying to attack him or, or demean him or stuff like that which was not really the case you understand so he responded and I also had stuff to say and uh, you know I, I kind of maybe he kind of got offended because he thought I was trying to dizzy him or, or something like that which is not really the case um, he tried to make me look like um, you know the small boy in the game and whatnot quite right I mean me and him are on different levels you understand so I'm doing my thing he's also doing his thing yeah